All right, hi everybody, welcome back. Growing up in the foster care system can be hard. The State Department of Children and Families tries to make it easier. And now a local organization that helps those children continue their education has a very special addition. As part of a new segment with DCF, we're introducing you to Stephanie Cooper, who I think is wonderful, by the way. Thank we you. just met and I think you're wonderful. And it's uh, an organization called Sun Scholars, right? First of all, tell us about your grandmother because I love your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother watches this every single day. Um, she flips between three different channels, this, football, and the Hallmark Channel. So we she's definitely watching. So we're giving her a big shout out. What's her name? Aileen. Aileen, it's a pleasure to see you, Aileen. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about your personal experience. Uh, so I was only in and out of foster care when I was very younger, uh, very young. Uh, it was just me and my four sisters wow. and my mom when I was growing up. My mom was a single mom taking four, care of five girls. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. So it was definitely a little overwhelming at times. So that was kind of a part of the reason as to why we were in and out of foster care. It's never very a long time. Um, we always went back home very quickly, okay. which was a good thing. Yeah. Um, but you needed help. Yeah, you got, and, you, and you got it. Yeah. Tell us about Sun Scholars, because I think I researched it. It sounds like a wonderful <laughs> opportunity. Great new organization. So I was in Sun Scholars before it was Sun Scholars. Previously, it was Care Scholars within uh, Central Connecticut State University. And then it became a nonprofit. I was actually in the meeting at DCF to get the funding to make it a nonprofit. Isn't that remarkable? Yeah. So I was a student, and then I was an intern, and then I temporarily worked there, and I worked there full time. And uh, and what do what does this organization do? So I work with. Uh, right now, I have about eight students that I work with. They are at all different schools, mostly UConn and Eastern and uh, CCSU for me. There's a couple other schools as well, but I work with them to coordinate with their school stuff. So right now, I'm working with two students that I'm helping them like annotate all of their readings so that they're prepared for their quizzes um, that they have this week. We go through all of that. We make sure that they're keeping up with their grades. They have ma to maintain like a certain GPA for themselves. They pick something that they want. So they have three different areas that we focus on, which is school, and then we focus on like a career, like internships, stuff like that, and then social and emotional goals. These are all goals that they pick themselves, and then we just kind of help them get where they need to be. And Stephanie, these are kids all in the foster care system? Yes. Okay. And it's run kind of by people who were in the foster care system? Everybody that works there full time and works with students has experience with foster care system. So th that's so great because you know where they're coming from, right. and they know where you've been. Right. As my boss would say, we're um, on the same mountain, we just have different paths. Uh, what a great saying. I love, can, may I borrow that? Hey, you got to ask him, not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my saying. All right, so I guess being in the, what has really inspired you to get involved with this type of work? Uh, I've always been interested in social work ever since the first time I had a social worker come to my house. Uh, it's always been in my, around me, and I just enjoy helping people, so I was like, okay, I know this well, so this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to continue doing it. I eventually want to be a human rights lawyer. Um, I want to see myself in a history book one day because I think that would be awesome. Oh my God! <laughs> I want to be at a big podium, like talking in front of people, like advocating for the things that I think are right in this world. Oh my God, that's true. all right. And you just graduated from CCSU. <laughs> yes, and now I'm going to Howard. I'm getting my you're going master's. going to Howard? Yeah, I'm getting my master's at Howard. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you're going to be moving? No, I, it's online. It's online. I thought about moving, but it's already expensive enough. Right, so exactly. I was like, I'm just going to do the online version. <laughs> okay, that's great. So, but it's very exciting. All right. So how are you trying to make the state support more equitable for students who are in the foster care system? So for me, one of my biggest things that I was pushing for, so after my mom passed away, I had a transfer of guardianship to my aunt. And that when you have a transfer of guardianship, you don't get federal funding for college. Oh. So that's one big thing that I was pushing for because my sisters were adopted and they get federal funding to go to college. So they didn't have to pay for it. They don't have any student loans. Good. Me, I have student loans. You do. <laughs> so I'm trying to push for, especially in Connecticut, to push funding towards transfer guardianship, especially because they have a new bill in place called Family First, where they're trying to keep kids with their family members instead of putting them through the adoption process. So if we're having less kids adopted, we should have more funding that's being pushed towards these transfer guardianship kids. So there shouldn't be a reason saying, you know, we don't have the money. But right. we do, especially in Connecticut, we're trying to push towards having these people go and stay with their families because it causes less trauma for those people. Terrific. Well, Stephanie, we can't thank you enough for coming on our show today. We wish you continued success and good luck at Howard. Thank you. Online <laughs> or there, you're going to make it. All right.